Hi, try this again. Sorry about that. Let's keep burning down this phone. I only had charged about 14 times today. Died on me just as I got started. Um, I kind of, I think I'm just going to keep this short. I just wanted to let you all know that um, if I've missed your comment or haven't responded to you yet or acknowledged what you're, you're saying or doing or sharing, uh, please bear with me. This has been incredibly overwhelming, and, and uh, um, I've got, you know, hundreds of messages, and I, I'm only about 13 hours behind in, in keeping up the messages, but I just want to promise you all that I will not miss you. I will get you. It's, uh, it's been 20-hour days, 22-hour days. Uh, we're going to be out back on the road again at 6.30 tomorrow morning. It's almost two now and I'm still catching up to uh to messages and stuff and don't get me wrong I'm not crying I am so proud I am so overwhelmed I can say I have never been prouder to be a Canadian than I am right now uh which is saying something because I I, I was a very strong patriot most of my life but for about the last 10 or 15 years I had just tell people that I used to tell people that I was a proud Canadian now I just told them that I was just Canadian but now I am the proudest Canadian I have seen things change in this country mile by mile and it's absolutely amazing seeing the faces of these people that have been hurting for so long and didn't have anything left to believe in and getting beat down from every direction and it doesn't matter where you come from or what part of Canada you're in it's the same situation and this convoy is changing things in such a way that people are realizing it's okay to speak up they have a voice and if these people can do it they can come out and support them and I'll tell you what, this has been growing more and more. The last 50 kilometers coming into Sault Ste. Marie, probably the last 80 kilometers coming into Sault Ste. Marie, there was barely a driveway that didn't have a dozen people in it. One little spot, a fireworks show that was worthy of Canada Day. Another spot, Japanese Chinese lanterns, candle lanterns flo floating into the air. Another spot, 30 kids with sparklers waving them, the LED lights, and, and, you know, and it's significant because it's cold. It's cold out there, and these people are waiting hours in places, organizing dozens and hundreds of signs out, waiting for somebody to drive by for two minutes. And you see the faces, and you see the patriotism and the pride that they're starting to feel again. People have forgotten how to feel good about being Canadian. And that's what this, this convoy is doing. It's giving Canadians Canada back. It's reminding them what it's like to be Canadian. Because nobody's felt Canadian in Canada for a while. That's the significance of this. I know there's different issues and, and different concerns and things like that but the number one thing of importance is Canadians feeling like Canadians again we know how to do this stuff we know how to do things right and we also know that the government is not doing things right and they're not listening so we have to make them listen and we have to make them listen and understand that it's the people's country it really is and they have to give us choices and they have to let us speak and they're not letting us speak now they're going to make we're going to make them listen to us speak things have changed dramatically in the last couple of days now every politician of noteworthiness is coming out for the rallies in Ottawa and i think they're going to get a surprise they're going to they're going to get get a uh, they're going to get in touch with canadians again because they're not going to have no a choice and uh, 
will be heard. We exist and we are Canadian and they need to hear from Canadians and they're going to hear from Canadians. The last 80 kilometers coming into 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 Sault Ste. Marie were just mind-blowing. Um, every driveway, almost every driveway, dozens of people doing different things. If you caught the first part of it, you would have heard my first try, you would have heard me talking about a huge fireworks show that uh, one community set off. Not only that, they flagged down... Uh, they flagged down uh, uh, one of the vehicles and gave them boxes of homemade fritters to feed the crew. Every stop along the way, they fed us. Uh, White, White River it was pizza and stew and coffee and sandwiches. And the whole town came out. The whole town. There's only 2,000 people in that town. And they were all crammed into the service road with the trucks. Yeah. It was, it, it was, it was, it was mind-boggling. And uh, um, that's what it's been like growing more and more and more and more. And I'm going to tell you guys a little story about what happened when we, we come into uh, Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, a guy named Bill messaged me yesterday and said he wanted to, to do something cool and, and, and have coffee waiting for us when we got into <coughs> Sault Ste. Marie. He wanted to know what, what time I expected us to get in there. And, and I didn't really know. I'm not. I, I'm not an organizer of the convoy. I'm a media guy. I, I that that's that's what I do. I, I I help with tech and social media and and videos and 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 uh, narrative and 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 just helping to educate people and 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 create exposure the right way, the right exposure, the right message. That's my role. What I try to do here. I don't really have a role. Nobody has a role. We're all just Canadians doing things that we're good at. None of us are professional activists. None of this this movement is so different because of that that big factor. None of us are professionals at protesting. Not like usual protesters, you know, third generation that you know have organizations and funding and stuff like that. This is the people doing it themselves, getting it done, and that's it. Simple. There's a job to do, and and we're gonna do it. People don't want to listen in government. We'll make them listen. Simple. And that's what this is all about. But the people coming here and, and coming into to Sault Ste. Marie tonight, I talked with Bill probably uh, a dozen times uh, between yesterday and today, trying to trying to coordinate things. And we're this has been so overwhelming that we've been running behind. And initially, he figured that we'd be in around four or five o'clock. So they were that's what they were gearing up for. Because honestly, we were we were. Uh, um, so had no Wi-Fi today, and that's why this is kind of being so late catching up with stuff. Is is we went twelve hours without Wi-Fi today, so I'm trying to catch up with all of your messages. And I want you all to know if you've left a message and I haven't got to you yet, I promise I will. I will get back to every single person that talks to me. Uh, it's just going to take me a little time. I'm about twelve hours behind in catching up, and it, I'm running out of time to catch a nap. But uh, uh, coming into Sault Ste. Marie, talked with talking with Bill for the last couple of days. So we were expecting coffee, and I told the people in the bus we were expecting coffee. We rolled into Sault Ste. Marie to 1,000 or 1,500 people waiting for us at 9.30 at night. They'd been there ready since 4 to 5 o'clock. Okay? They were waiting for us at 9.30 at night, 1,000 people, 1,500 people with their kids, families. And not only that, they had three great big barbecues tables and tables full of food chili burgers uh, sausage smokies submarine salads goodies sweets for the kids it was completely overwhelming there's no way that that anybody could see and touch this what's going on here in Canada right now and not realize how real and how Canadian this is and how genuine it is and how much the people want this. They want to be, their voices to be heard and they felt shut in and <clears throat> hiding in their homes for too long, too long. And that's what this is, 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 is people are feeling like it's, it's okay to speak again because if these guys can do it, it's okay to support them. And that's, that's all we wanted. That's all we want. We don't expect to, to, 
to change Canada the day after we hit Ottawa. That's not going to happen. But what we are going to do is we're going to keep uniting Canada and we're going to keep waking people up and, and letting them know that they don't have to take it. We, can, we have the power. We are Canadians. Without us, Canada would just be a patch of dirt. It's us that makes Canada such an amazing and unique and the, one of the most desired places in the world to live. And we need to keep that. But we're going to have to fight for it. And we're going to have to have all of Canada together to fight for that. So that's what this is about. I just want to tell you all tonight that uh, I'm, I'm going to get to you. Uh, we should have better Wi-Fi tomorrow. Um, so I, 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 I will take to make, make some sure that I get some time to uh, finish catching up with everybody that's spoken to us. Um, I've got a ton of stuff that, that we captured and stuff today. I've dropped a couple of, of videos, some, it's just some, some amazing stuff uh, that, that the best of the day today a little bit. I've got a bunch, bunch more that I'll get out to you. As soon as I get up, I'll start, start getting it back out to you tomorrow. I, I got so many messages of people wondering what was going on, wanting to know what was going on, missing what was going on because they feel like they're involved. They feel like they're riding on this trip with us. Well, you know what, you guys, you are. Every single one of you are. This is your convoy as much as it is ours. And I'll tell you what, you guys are doing the heavy lifting now. All we're doing is sitting and driving and going there. It's you guys that are sharing this out coast to coast, not just coast to coast, all over the world. I don't know how many of you guys realize, realize this uh, or ha have, have heard some of these things, but uh, we're paying attention, so maybe we have things a little earlier than some, but places like Singapore are having... Uh, 24 hour live coverage of what's we're, we're, what's going on here with this convoy uh, it's uh, it's being televised and it made mainstream news in the USA and they're calling this the people's convoy that should make you proud because that's you that's us this we are Canada just a patch of dirt without us it's us that makes it what it is hi Pat uh, good question. Thanks for for that one. How many trucks on the convoy, guys? That's 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 something that that's really a tough one to uh, to uh, explain all the time because what happens is people come and join. Uh, sometimes uh, twenty trucks at a time will will be waiting for us on the side of the road, and they'll jump in and they'll ride with us for a hundred miles, two hundred miles, five hundred miles, and then they'll turn around and go home. Right, but so any people. given time that it's we uh, we could be fifty trucks, uh, we might have rolled into uh, Sault Ste. Marie tonight with about seventy five or eighty. But the significant thing, and this is good news, if you guys all haven't heard it, sixty trucks made the ferry ride from Newfoundland today. They hit the night. They're late. They're they're stacked up in in uh, uh, on this side of the water now. And not only that. New Brunswick chipped in, and we have no money, no idea how many trucks are, are coming from from New, New Brunswick as well too. Well, the, this is going late into the night already, so, uh, well, uh, that's sixty from Newfoundland. That's not counting the New Brunswick guys. So I expect there's going to be a mess of them yet too. So, we can. Uh, it, it. This is what it is uh, exactly, Pat. This is this is Canada coming together. This is telling the government from coast to coast. They're done. They're done. Canadians have paid too much, and they've leveraged the next four, five, six generations. And we've got to stop it. When tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. And that's what we are. Nobody here is special. We're just Canadians doing our duty. I'm special. And <laughs> the amount of people that are coming out and helping to do, the, and, and being patriots too, that's... The part that's completely overwhelming. When you come into a place where you're expecting to see a pickup and a couple of people with a co uh, some coffee, and, and don't get me wrong, we would have been absolutely, utterly grateful for that. Yeah. But then to roll in with thousands of people waiting, excited, so passionate, and so, so proud and full of hope, you can't see that and not 
be choking back apples. I'm having a hard time keeping it together here right now. I know I'm tired and that might be part of it too, but my lord, this is something that can only be felt. It's impossible to describe. So that's why I kind of call this little live overwhelm because it's, 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 I'll tell you what, there's about 150 people on a regular average or more traveling with this, and I don't think there's as many dehydrated bodies in one place from shedding tears anywhere in this country at one time. I have seen the hardest, strongest men crying like babies, myself included. Myself included. I'm going to tell you a little, fill you in a little bit. Something happened late last night. I walked in to Valhalla. And I'll tell you, huge kudos to the people of Valhalla. Uh, we rolled in there again to, to a whole whack of people waiting for us. And it was the same experience. The people were the same way. You turn around and somebody will look at you. And without saying a word, just wrap their arms around you. And you're both crying. You just can't help it. And that's that's the power of hope. That's the power of hope and belief and things that are greater than yourself. And I'll tell you what, the 150 people that are rolling along in this convoy every single day making this happen, that's the cream of the cop, crop of the, the grassroots Canada. And honest to God is. Um, there is no safer place in this country right now than being with these people. Nobody's left behind. It doesn't matter your needs. You're looked after. You're just you're just Canadian. That's what this is. It doesn't matter if you're pink, blue, purple, or ride a pink dinosaur. If you're a Canadian and you want to keep Canadian values, your family, and that's what Canada always has been, and we need to keep that. But to keep it, we got to get it back. So before I get overwhelmed and super stoked myself and get myself all cranked up again here yeah, uh, yeah, get, gotta get some sleep so um, guys thank you so much we couldn't do this without you thanks Jody we love you guys too it's 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 uh, this is pretty epic this is history um uh, mm. You noise me, distract me. <laughs> Sorry. I want to show you something that bothers me. I'm doing a live here right now, so I'm talking to some folks. Hi, Laura. Uh, yeah, I'm going to crash, but I, yeah, I, I, I'll do that. I'll just get off of here now and let you guys all go to bed late man. anywhere where we're at, too. I'm going to go get some sleep. And I will be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and on the road at 7 o'clock again in the morning. And I'll catch up with more of you there then. And uh, in the morning, uh, I'll be dumping out a bunch of the new stuff that we got from tonight. And, uh, uh, yeah, thanks for the shares. The shares is what's making the difference. You guys are doing all the hard work now. We're just riding in one direction. You guys are doing the work. Please, please keep it up make you know the the, the Canada, Canada needs to hear this and, and you guys are doing an amazing job thank you so much we're so blessed for all of you people and uh, yeah have a good night folks hi Carrie hi Lynn thanks for tuning in Alessandro uh, you guys are, are what this is all about it's your convoy we just want to keep you in the loop and what's uh, where we're at and what we're doing how it's going so Look for more amazing things to happen every hour of the day. Uh, those of you that got in late, it's probably worth going back to the beginning and checking it out again. If you want to help, this is kind of important. Um, there's no backers for this. We got a GoFundMe page going, but that for for the convoy. Pardon me, the convoy has a a GoFundMe page going that they're collecting on. I'll drop a link down here underneath of this. Uh, for those that want to support the the trucks rolling up and down the road, uh, there's uh, some different people that are bringing doing the work, bringing this to you while the guy while the truckers are in bed sleeping. We're up here doing this. Uh, we've got a couple of independent medias, and I gotta gotta give huge kudos and shout outs to Rebel. They've been riding with us in the trenches and telling a great story. Kian is is doing great, doing amazing stuff. Uh, he he he's a Canadian patriot too. 
Um, so they've got a, a huge court case going, so they're, they're collecting donations to us to uh, fight the persecution that, that's happening as well, and that affects us. So if you want to help uh, Rebel, uh, they've got a, a, a page for, the, for helping them out. And uh, then we've got uh, uh, a small independent guy by the, by the name of Freebird Media. Uh, I think I'm going to just start calling him Crazy Carl because he's one of the most passionate Canadians I've ever met in my life. And he's pretty damn sharp too. So you want to you wanna get in touch with him. Um, he also happens to be uh, bilingual and originally from Quebec. So he understands the whole story. So um, I'll drop a link in there to his uh, uh, GoFundMe account. He's a... Uh, He's uh, paying for his own ride here too, so if you want to help him out, you can, you know, he'll appreciate a meal or a cup of coffee, and, and uh, uh, he'll be eternally grateful and, and carry on the fight, and uh, kind of I'm in the same boat. If you want to help uh, me and my my little media company uh, get through this and, and carry on, uh, I'll drop a link down in the bottom where you, where you can send e-transfers for if you feel worthy of buying a cup of coffee for a crazy old fool riding in a convoy with uh, or a blessed old fool riding in a convoy with some of the best Canadians that there is I couldn't be prouder and uh, uh, yeah so on on that note I'm going to run away say good night love you all love you Canada and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow I'll try and get something crafty to say for the morning <laughs> we'll see how that goes <laughs> alright, thank you guys